Hello and welcome to another Smelly Cat Creations uh, video. This one is a, actually a Halloween special um, in relation to Claire's Crafty Corner Halloween YouTube video collaborations. Um, this is just going to be a quick part uh, of the software. I'm not actually going to go fully through all of the steps for the software because I'm sure a lot of you aren't here to see the um, exactly how I do it with the software, but if that's something you're interested in, I'm happy to make some more videos on uh, programming and how the how I how I program these jobs. So for my uh, video, what I decided I was going to do is I thought I would do a trick or treat witch plate. So it's just going to be a wooden plate, uh, CNC machined, and it's going to have this witch on a broomstick in the middle here. Uh, it's, a, it's it's around 210 millimeters. Uh, diameter and it's about 20 mil thick so what I've got here down the right hand side is the operations we're going to do for the machining so we've got the outer shape which is just going to run around um, with a cutter and to cut the outer diameter and then we've got this which roughing pass which is basically going to come in and it's going to remove all of the bulk of the material around this 3D image. So if we go to 3D, you can see this is the image. This is what we're after at the end. This is what we're trying to get it to look like when we finish. And there's the witch on the broomstick with the moon in the background. Uh, and this is the 2D view. So we're gonna come in with this 6.3 cutter and we're gonna rough out most of the material to show this sort of 2.5D image. Then we're going to come in, sorry, then we're going to come in with a 3 mil ball nose, which is going to raster pass and tidy up, do the finishing cut to, to bring the witch out. Um, and then lastly, we're going to come in with a V bit and just engrave this trick or, trick or treat on the bottom of the plate. So this is um, Vectric software and uh, it's one of two pieces that I use. Um, I'm also currently testing and trying Carvico Maker Plus, which is a very similar software, uh, a little more modern looking, but it works very different. I've got, I've got very used to using Vectric. I know I've, I'm, quick with, I'm quick with it now, but it's, it's still nice to try some new software. I do like the modern view of um, Carvico and Carvaco Maker Plus works on a subscription basis, so you pay monthly, whereas uh, Vectric here, you pay your one-off fee, and then when the new version comes out, you have to pay an upgrade fee if you want to upgrade to the uh, to the newer version. So this is the project we're going with. We're going to go with this witch. So I'm going to save these are all going to be saved to a USB stick, and I'm going to take them over to my new CNC machine um, from Stony CNC. Uh, I'll put their link as well in the description and if you like this video please comment like and subscribe and also check out the Instagram and if you want any custom projects made any custom orders then please get in touch I've got brands and irons makers mark discs all sorts make sure you scroll through the Instagram page because it, there's lots of stuff as you go down you'll see I've made tons of stuff take a look see what you think get in touch if you want anything and thanks for watching so we've got the program done on the, uh, on the computer and um, we're now going to bring it to the machine. Uh, so it's kind of like a two part video, it's obviously Halloween related. Um, but it's also, this is my new machine, so this is my new Exec 4 from um, Stony CNC. I will leave a link in the description to Stony CNC. Uh, been in talks with them for quite a while and um, we came up with this machine as my new machine. It's uh, certainly a lot more robust, a lot faster, a lot more solid than my Work B, which is still a good machine, but it is more hobby, hobby sort of style than uh, this is more industrial related. So what I've done is I've got a bit of teak here. It's actually a bowl blank um, or plate blank. I don't do turning much so I'm going to use this that is double-sided taped so I've got masking tape on the bed 
double sided tape between the blank and that tape so I can just peel it all off at the end that isn't going anywhere this is very strong um, double sided tape so I've got that on there just homed the machine what I'm going to do now is uh, get the first tool loaded up to do the uh, roughing pass for the the witch so I'll do the roughing pass first and probably do the outside I'm, got, I'm slightly trimming the outside to make sure it's nice and round I'm going to do that as well so let's get the first tool in there okay, so this is our machine software uh, the UCC NC uh, you can roughly see in the corner here this is a sort of this is going to be a, a demo it shows you exactly what the program's doing it's hard to see the witches in there but it's hard to see because this is the roughing pass you'll see it more on the next one which is the finishing pass um, so that's loaded in there the cutter is in there and other zeroed off the center of my piece and my Z0 has also been set off the center so let's get this going um, one main difference with this machine compared to my last machine is this one's fully software controlled so the software will start the spindle stop the spindle um, whereas on my old work B you just have to start and stop the spindle and change the speeds myself manually you could incorporate that into the machine but it just I just it wasn't worth the effort for, for a one tool machine it wasn't worth it so here we go let's get this one this first roughing pass started brings it down starts a spindle off it goes So the roughing pass is done, yes it looks really messy, um, the ball nose will tidy that up. Uh, what I'm going to run now is the outside profile because that uses the same cutter so I may as well get that done while that tool's in there and the Z's uh, set with that. So that's just going to run 10mm deep on the outside just so we can make it nice and round. So we've got the outer perimeter cut 10 deep and um, what I'm obviously going to do is I'm going to use the trim router or the uh, router top router table and I'll just flush trim that so that it's all nice and round. So two operations left which is the ball nose finishing cut to clean all that mess up and then I've got to come in and put the writing on the bottom. I think we'll do the writing last just to uh, finish that off and make that nice. So now I'm going to switch over to the ball nose. So once we've got it roughly where we want it, which is here, is the top of this is our face. You can tell it to probe and hope it doesn't go crunch. It'll stop. Done. So it didn't go crunch. Right, let's run the uh, finishing cut. So this is now just going to machine out the dome shape, the sort of dome shape with the witch. Ball nose cutters and sort of 2.5 D relief uh, machining is a slow process. It's only, uh, that's a three mil and you can go down to anything down to sort of a 0.5 mil, which as it steps over every time, takes is a long time. I'm just going to speed this up a little bit as well. As you can see there, it's smoothing out the, uh, all the step marks from the flat-ended cutter. Some people will go in there with a big ball nose to start with on the rough end, but I prefer a flat end really, cuts, cuts better. It, gives you the, it leaves you the steps, but that's, that's fine with me. They get cleaned out by this ball nose. So now is when it starts to become the sort of enjoyable to see because you start to see the uh, 2.5D or you start to see your image really coming out. 
so you can the witch's brooms coming out there and it will obviously um it will pop a lot more once there's some uh, oil on it so keep going we'll be up there witch in a minute here, here she comes here comes the witch little light sand over with some 240 grit at the end there be beautiful So there she is there's the little little witch or as she's known in some households the mother-in-law she's all done we will uh let's get this right in on the bottom here then we can bounce all this off flush trim it a little sand round get some oil on there so there it is loaded in there's our trick or treat trick or treat right here on the bottom there set the Z on this already a little 60 degree by 4 mil engraving tip so let's get this on there we go there's the fine writing done some oil will make that come out better so just need to pop this off the machine now trim the edges off flush trim it a little sanding paper so there it is, I've uh, put a chamfer around the back with the router, just lightly sanded the edges, 240 grit and I've sanded most of this face by hand, just, just gently with 240 grit as well, um, just some of this, I've got a reel of like 240 grit, let's put some oil on it and it shall change. Get into all the little gaps. I'll do the edges on the back, but there she is. The witch. And then the right in. So thanks very much for watching everybody. There will be new videos coming on the new machine. Um, I'll be doing plenty more videos on that. Uh, now the workshop is coming along and almost finished insulating which has been slowing me down loads um, I will be getting into the habit of making much more regular YouTube videos now um, I just needed to get this workshop insulated but there will be more things like this coming hope you liked it and thanks for watching